Welcome. This question says a potential difference of 6 volts is dropped across a resistor. How much electrical energy is converted into thermal energy when 8 coulombs of charge passes through the resistor? So what I'm envisaging is, is my resistor and I have a, a certain current flowing into it or through it and I have a certain voltage difference dropped across it so this is 6 volts PD and all in all over time over time we get 8 coulombs 8 coulombs of charge so the currents flowing for a certain length of time and in that length of time you know, 8 coulombs of charge passes through the resistor. And so, well, when I think of a, a, a coulomb of charge at a certain voltage, I suppose when I think about voltage, I'm thinking about each coulomb of charge being a bucket. And we have eight of them. So we can draw the first four and the second four. It's a bit like a train that's running through this resistor and it turns out that because it's a 6 volt potential difference I'm thinking in terms of having each coulomb delivers a volt is a joule per coulomb that's from the definition of the volts it's a joule per coulomb so that one has uh, six joules in it, and this one has 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 six joules in it, and six joules, and six joules, and six joules, and it's all converted into heat inside the resistor. That's how the resistor works. It converts electrical energy into thermal energy. And so I can say, well, um, one volt equals one joule per one coulomb so that would mean that six volts is equal to six joules per one coulomb so in this case I have uh, um, uh, energy is equal to my uh, potential difference multiplied by my charge so I can say my energy is equal to 6 joules per coulomb divided by 8 coulomb, multiplied by 8 coulombs so my energy is equal to 48 joules as with all kind of like analogies <laughs> um, they are of limited value and they won't always work so this is just a, 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 a visualization um, which is hopefully helpful to, to recognize that when you buy a if you go to the store and buy a 9 volt battery each coulomb is delivering 9 joules of charge a 9 volt battery and if you went and got a 1.5 volt battery which is like a C cell then you'd only be delivering 1.5 joules of charge this is for a 1.5 uh, joules for a 1.5 volt um, so clearly if I have a battery which delivers coulombs that have more energy I need fewer of them to get the job done if I have coulombs that deliver only a little bit of energy, I need more of them to get the job done. Um, but again, you've always got to be a little bit careful with simplistic visualizations because they only work under certain you know, situations. But there we have it. Just take your, your potential difference and multiply it by the charge if you're talking about a component. Um, and there we have it.